And today, I get it. Before this tournament, if you'd have said to me, Phil Foden can be dropped, I would have said, nah, 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 because he's, he's been too good at Man City. But he hasn't been good enough for England. And we had a lad in Cole Palmer who has been excellent, had a great season, and he's looked much livelier. Now, he played Phil Foden more central, and he played Jude Bellingham out on the left, which didn't work too well for him. Whoa, look at the fireworks behind Mark. But it, he played Phil Foden to, to sort of do a man-marking job in, in Rodri, and that took any sort of... Uh, Forward thinking play from Phil Foden, can he out the play? He had a poor game, but Southgate didn't do anything outside the box yeah. to try and make a change. Even in the team selection, he said, that's... no, no, we'll roll the same players out again because that's worked really well for us. Yeah. It didn't really. That's no. my concern over the last eight years culminating and going back to the Croatia semi-final. My, my lasting thought after watching them is, what if, what if... Why, what if he played him? What if he was a bit more tactical aware? What if he was a bit more reactive, uh, proactive, sorry, rather than reactive? And, and that's what I felt watching this tournament. We stumble through, we stumble through, we jump on that side of the group, we stumble through, we, and we get, then we get to the final and we lose. Yeah. Yeah. And, I'm just, I, 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 and I'm just a bit, I'm just, just a little bit... I just want to go to Mark. Just Mark. a little bit frustrated by it now, you know? Just, uh, just I'm sorry, 10 seconds about that. We all agree during the tournament that he should have changed some players. So why he didn't? That's the, thing, the only thing I want to say. You know, we can, we can try to find excuses. Oh, yeah, for the end of good season, uh, Saka had a good season, Kane had a good season. But during the tournament, how many times we say he should change? Yeah, yeah. He never did. No. Uh, let's, uh, we're joined by Mark now, who is, uh, was at the game outside the stadium uh, for us now, Mark. This is what happens if, from an England perspective when you come up against a proper team. Yeah. With Southgate's and approach, you have to win. Yes. With that, uh, with, that, 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 yeah. with that approach, you have to win. We've yeah. said it all along yes. here, haven't we? You cannot play that poorly with that amount of talent mm. you have at your disposal and not win. And if you, if you play like that, and that is your plan, and you don't win, you have to expect criticism. Because they had a wonderful opportunity, as I said, not necessarily to win it, but to show how good they are. Because a lot of the teams, the bigger sides across Europe, are all in transitional period. Germany are going to lose a few, aren't they? They're going to have to change the team. Holland's were disappointing. Italy have been disappointing. France are going to lose a few players and, and, uh, before they start. So this was our this was our real chance to have a to be entertaining, to get our good players on, to show how how classy we can be, to show that we've got a plan. And it wasn't. It was just to stifle, to hope. Let's to, a bit of fortune mm. here. Let's get to this. And oh, we, we're on that side of the group. Oh, we've met a very poor Holland team. Oh, we got past them. <laughs> And then in the end, it was like, right, we're playing a good team, we'll lose today. And, and we, uh, so it was just a bit of a damn squib today. We all expected England to lose and yeah. lost the way they did. Yeah.